Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am now an affiliate of Black Oak LEDs. Uh, it is an LED uh, company that I found on YouTube, uh, someone that I was following, and um, I got my first box of lights. You can use my uh, discount code, uh, DieselMXTT, if you would like a discount uh, when you buy the lights. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting the lights on this clicker. I had this clicker on my old truck, uh, and I loved it. It was great because I can have the lights on, and I can, I can be like 500 feet away, and I can turn the lights on without having to have the truck running. My truck does have the um, auxiliary. You can see here these buttons right here, but they won't turn on if the truck if the truck is off. So uh, obviously with the with the with the lights. I'm not going to be running them for hours at a time because it's going to drain the battery, but it is nice to be able to shut off the engine and keep the lights on for a little bit. For the second time, I'm going to be installing the um, flush mount lights. This is a new brand that I'm working with right now. I have four pods in the front. Uh, these are the ones for the back. Um, and I installed some on my last truck, and now I'm going to do it for these ones. They do have these in diffused and they also have them in flood. These ones I got are spot and they're 40 watts uh, combined. So that is extremely bright. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and splice this end. And this is going to connect to some wires that I already have underneath the truck running for this very reason. Uh, I already have wires running underneath to connect for these. Uh, for this exact, exact reason. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm using the grinder here and then I'm going to use a pen and uh, this little black which is which is a kind of a sealer. Uh, this works well for uh, knowing where you're going to be cutting. Alright guys so the black oak took me about about 30 minutes um, I don't like how far these stick out, so what I'll probably do is I'll um, get some that are a little bit more flush, but it just has a bolt on the other side um, to hold it in with a washer. So that's something I'll change, and then I, would do, I do wish I made it a little bit lower because the curve on the bumper makes it so that it's not tight up on the top. Other than that, uh, it looks really good, and then I'll also spray the whole thing black when I get, uh, when I, well, I'm eventually going to get a new bumper, so I might just sell these lights with the bumper, um, or I'll just keep it, take them off, well, I can't take them off because there's going to be a big hole there, maybe I'll put cheaper ones on there, I don't know, but yep, they look good, I'm happy with it. Oh, and another thing when you're doing this, watch out, because I almost made it too close. You could see. Spraying. Just missed it. So, <laughs> couldn't get any closer than that. So, watch out for that when you're doing this. Another thing you're going to have to do so you don't end up making the hole too big is you're going to have to pick, take the face off. So, you're going to have to take off these three screws in order to get this light and bring it in from the inside because if you try and this is what I did with my last one I was able to make the square hole and then just push it right in well you can't do it with this one and this is kind of a bummer because the wire comes out from the bottom so when you go to push it in the wire gets stuck um, and you're gonna have to make too big of a hole and you can, there's not enough room to tilt it like this so you gotta push it in there so what I had to do was I had to take off these three screws put it in from the front from the back and then put the face back on be careful when you do because this this uh, plastic uh, piece will pop off so you just want to make sure you push it back in properly so it properly seals. So if you ever want to see what the inside looks like, there's the back side. And then the inside, just like this, it's plastic. Uh, 
plastic glass and you pull that off. And behind it you have the, the plastic. I'm not going to pull it off, I don't need to. But you can see the rubber seal all the way around it, which is uh, nice and tight. So there you go. It has been about a year that I've had these lights on. So you can see here I have the four pods in the front and then the two pods in the back. Very bright. I use them a lot. Um, and then I also wanted to show you guys, I got the Rock Tamer mud flaps. And the bar that goes across for the mud flaps, as you can see, uh, it actually fits perfectly right under where I had put the lights. So that's something to keep in mind as well if you're going to get those same thing. But thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.